And then you hear, as a Democrat in the White House, that can't be good for the stock market. Well, that hasn't been true either. In Clinton's first term, the market was up 99%. His second four years was up 83%. Bush's first term was down 6%. His second term was down 26%. And so far, up 82% under President Obama. And the reason I put up these six points is that people hold them as gospel, and they're holding you back as investors. You're not making the right decisions because you're holding truths that aren't really, that really aren't true. And that's really the, uh, the big problem in here. Well, this is true if you live in the South. Mason Dixon line renamed IHOP Waffle House line, kind of the, uh, the, new, de the new demilitarized zone for our country. And um, there's, uh, so it's, uh, and, uh, and my favorite bad math example was about 15 years ago. My son was very little, he's like five years old. And we we're watching on ESPN, Jason Kidd comes out of the University of California Ber at Berkeley in his junior year and he signs with the Dallas Mavericks. It was, and there's a press conference on ESPN and they got the owner, the coach, and Jason Kidd. And, uh, and they had the owner, it was before Mark Cuban, and he, he says, anything you'd like to say? And he gets the mic, he says, I'm real excited about having Jason here. And then they, they said, coach, anything? He says, we're real pleased to have Jason in Dallas. And they said, Jason, is there anything you'd like to say? And he brings the mic closer to him and he says, yes, there is. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna turn this program around 360 degrees. <laughs> like, oh, God. the expression is 180, you know? This my son is five years old. He goes, Dad, that's not good. They're going to be right back where they started from. There's a... So... And then the other problem we have is the people that are bad at math seem to be having more kids than the people that are good at math. I think that's another problem. So I have a, a new bumper sticker that says, if you can't add, don't multiply. And um, that's a new thing we're working on. We'll show them. Get our math skills up. The, um... <laughs> if I... If I like the way the economy looks and I like the stock market, what don't I like? I don't like gold. I think uh, as an investment, I think that's really way overpriced right now. I haven't seen anything that, in, last time I saw something that inflated, it was floating over Yankee Stadium. But it's, um, this is, uh, unlike other commodities, virtually every ounce of gold ever produced is still around and we're mining more of it every year. The only reason it's worth anything is that we think it's valuable. And it's advertised on late night TV. And I don't know about you, but the things I bought on late night TV historically have not worked out. And um, there's a, I have a lot of Ronco products, that'll tell you. They, um, and, they, uh, and Glenn Beck is doing ads for gold, and Warren Buffett is buying cheap U.S. stocks. This time, I don't know.